Dear DA, I need to have a secure way to import and export files in Marketing Cloud. Can you show me how to set up a secure FTP client? Thanks. Great question. We'll first go over why we use SFTP clients. Second, we'll look into setting up an FTP user in Marketing Cloud in the admin settings. Finally, we'll show you how to access the SFTP once you've set it up with your credentials and URL needed. Now, to get started using your SFTP or Secure File Transfer Protocol account through Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So what an SFTP essentially allows you to do uh, is import and export folders securely into and out of Marketing Cloud. And to do that, you have to have a couple of things. Um, you have to have a client such as FileZilla or Cyberduck in order to access your server. Um, and we'll walk through that in just a second. But you also, on the Marketing Cloud side, need an FTP user in order to generate the credentials that you'll need to access your SFTP. So we're going to click into Setup to your admin settings to walk through how to create that user. And what we're going to do is under administration and data management, we're going to click FTP accounts. And you'll see in here I have a couple of demo, um, demo accounts that I've created and that I've disabled. So if you did ever need to re-enable, um, all you need to do is create, uh, click the drop down on the right and to re-enable uh, an SFTP user. But to create one from scratch, we're going to add FTP user and there's going to be a generated username here, you can see. Um, that you can't really edit or change at all, um, as well as an email address. So here, in this case, I'm going to be using my email address, but um, just make sure that you're using the email address that's the preferred uh, email address for your organization uh, for this purpose. Then what I'm going to need to do is create a password to use for the FTP. And in this case, I have generated a password using 1Password, um, but you can use any secure password. Um, definitely recommend um, a random password generator for this to make sure that it's good and secure. And then you're going to repeat it to make sure they're the same. And then you're going to want to set your user permissions from read only to full to allow you to have full access to the FTP. Um, I'm not going to walk through this today, but you do also have the ability to have allow list IPs. Um, so just as a note um, about that. And then again, I'm not going to walk through this in this, um, this demo, but you do also have the ability to set up an SSH key in order to access the S uh, FTP. But in this case, we're going to use password only and we're going to click save. Now that we have our SFTP user created, the one thing I do want to note is that we have a password expiration. And here we have it set to never expires. Uh, generally, this is what I like to leave it on. Um, but if you do have a need to change this uh, to have an expiration limit, um, this is where you would go to do that. Um, so what we're going to need in order to access our SFTP is this username right here. Um, the password that we use to create this and this uh, URL. So a lot of times what people kind of try to do um, that can kind of be a stumbling block is they'll copy this and just paste it into their browser. Um, but actually where you're going to need this is in your client. So this is where um, that SFTP client like Cyberduck or FileZilla, that's where that comes into play because this is how you're going to access your FTP. So I've clicked into Cyberduck, which is the client that I use, but there are a lot of really good ones out there. It doesn't really um, matter too much what you use to access it. Um, but I use Cyberduck, and uh, what I'm going to do is click Open Connection. The principles are essentially the same for um, any client that you choose to use. So you'll see here that we have it um, by default um, click to an FTP port 21. Um, but for this case, we're going to want to connect to an SFTP, which is port 22. So we're going to click down. And this is another stumbling block is sometimes people forget to change it um, to the port 22. And where it asks for your server, this is where we're going to put that URL that um, is here in Marketing Cloud. And then we are going to use this username as your username credential. And we're going to use the password that we generated for your FTP user 
here. And um, again, this is where you would input an SSH privacy key if you did have one, but we did not uh, configure one, so we're gonna leave that on none, and then we are going to connect. And after a couple minutes, you should see an import and export and triggered automation folder generate. And these are now connected to Marketing Cloud, and you can use these to import and export files um, into your FTP. So I hope this was helpful in helping um, provide an understanding of how to access an FTP through Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Let's review what we just saw. We learned how to set up an FTP user in Marketing Cloud. We showed you how to get user credentials and we made sure you're able to set your user permissions to full. And then we accessed and used the SFTP and ensured you have the correct port connection. Thanks for joining. For more quick tips, like our channel below.